Hi, I'm Tasha, but you already know that by now. Today I'm going to show you a really, really simple way to make butter chicken. Ah, it's not that difficult, really. I used to dread making butter chicken, but love eating it. Who doesn't like butter chicken? Every time I thought of butter chicken, I would order out from the nearest Punjabi takeout that I could find. Till one day I was sitting and chatting with my uncle who was a chef, he's passed away now, but he passed on some really, really nice nuggets which I've kept with me and I'm going to share with you today. So I like to buy my tandoori chicken from the nearest Punjabi restaurant. It's easy, it's quick, it's all about timing here. Remember, you're not going to let people stand waiting for your tandoori chicken to bake and tandoor. Oh my God, just buy it. I also like to buy it on the bone. There's a reason or two. The first reason is that I feel chicken or any meat actually really cooks well on the bone. But very few people like to have bones in their food, like me. So what I do is I buy tandoori chicken and debone it at home. The other thing is when you go to a restaurant, you're five people and there are four pieces of chicken in your dish. And there's always one person who's never going to get the, the piece of chicken. So what I do, I let everybody get a piece of the action. I shred the chicken and there you have it. So for the ingredients for this delicious butter chicken, which is going to be ready in less than 30 minutes, all you need is store-bought tandoori chicken, fresh cream, I would say about 400 ml and you're going to need tomato puree, some chili powder, some whole garam masala. This is what adds the real spice to the butter chicken. What I use is about two leaves of bay leaf. I use one stick of cinnamon. When I say a stick, I basically use an inch of cinnamon. I use one or two black cardamoms and I also use some kasuri methi. So this is how you're going to make this lovely butter chicken in less than 20 minutes. And I'm telling you, it's faster than a sandwich. Okay, so the pan is hot, it's all ready to go. Add in the butter and let it melt a bit. Now that the butter is melted, add in all your whole garam masalas. The bay leaf, the cardamom, the cinnamon, as well as the cloves. So can you smell this lovely aroma? You can't, but I can. So you want to have a little bit of tang as well as some chili. What's life without spice, huh? So add in that chili powder. Think about what your husband did to you the last time you were angry. Add in an extra teaspoon if you want and give it a good stir. Add in your tomato puree at this point. Stir it well and step back from the flame. This thing is going to sputter like crazy. Cover it up or leave it open, it's up to you. And let it just simmer for about five minutes. Let the chilies and the tomatoes and the garam masala all have a good little marriage going on inside of there. And then just leave it to cook on slow flame for five minutes. And there's salt. There's always salt in a recipe. I use a little bit less here because I've bought store-bought tandoori chicken, which already has salt. So put a little bit of salt, but not too much because you don't want to over-salt your dish. Now, the butter chicken gravy in essence is ready. All you have to do is put in the kasuri methi. I like to squish it up a little bit. It brings out a little bit of the aroma. Throw the kasuri methi in there, stir it a little bit. Remember, stirring is always good before you add in the main ingredient. So now that the gravy is all done, I just have to put in the chicken. I've already deboned it and I've put in all of the chicken that I had in my plate and mix it all up well. It takes two minutes for the chicken and the gravy to just come together. Give it that two minutes, it's going to be worth it. Once this is done, start adding in the cream very slowly. Remember, cream just like butter, it's fat. If you add it too fast, it's going to split. This is the only tricky part of this recipe. You have to be a little bit careful when you add in the cream. If you're not used to handling cream, take the pan off the fire and put in the cream. Mix it up well and just put it back onto the flame on a very slow flame and keep stirring it. You have to stir this once the cream is in because it might split. You know when your butter chicken is ready? It's when the oil starts bubbling up from the sides. And you're going to wonder which oil because we never really put that much oil in there. It's the cream. Cream is fat. When you heat it, it does liquefy. And that's where the oil comes from. You see that lovely orangey red gravy that you see in all these restaurants? That's all cream. Yes. What did you think it was? So there you have it. Butter chicken in under 30 minutes, only on Tasha's streets. Enjoy.